Alright guys, it's Garxface22 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your 4.2.1 device using Green Poison. And uh, this is my friend's iPod, it's an Summer. iPod Touch 2nd Gen, 16GB, uh, running 4.2.1, which is right now the newest software. Um, 4.3 will be coming out next week, so when... Uh, but this is a 2G, so it can't upgrade, so it doesn't really matter. Like, uh, if you want to know about the non-upgradable 2G in the iPhone 3G, please watch my other video. And um, the link to download Green Poison, which is the software that we'll use to jailbreak, will be in the description. Thank you. Alright, guys, so once you've downloaded Green Poison, you're going to go to your desktop. Um, and here it is. This is the icon. You're going to just launch that, and it's going to say, Are you jailbreaking an Apple TV? And you're just going to click No. And then, just these are the steps, and then you're gonna hold the sleep button, then press the home button, and keep holding it. And then release the sleep button, and continue holding the home button. Now it says you can hold it for 10 seconds. I suggest that you hold it until the jailbreak process is over and it re reboots with the Green Poison logo. Uh, it just makes it work better. Then your screen will turn white and that means that it's starting the jailbreak process. And this will take up to three or four minutes. And then you're going to start getting these codes coming across your screen like, I, like you see right now. And wait for that. Continue holding the home button, and then Green Poison will say complete, but you're not done. So wait, you're going to get about a lot of codes across your screen, like this. These are all registry codes, so you just want to wait for all those to go. And uh, it'll reboot with a Green Poison Apple logo, like the icon. So I will show you when this is complete. Alright guys, so once it turns back on, you're going to go to this app called Loader which is right here. It'll install it to an uh, open spot. You just click on that. You have to be on Wi-Fi for this. It'll say loading sources and then you just click Stadia and you click install Stadia. I already did this but just do that and uh, let the device reboot. Once you reboot the device, uh, just slide to unlock of course and then you're gonna go to Stadia. You're just gonna click on that and then wait for Stadia to install its file system. This could take up to a minute for the first time and I'll come back when it's complete. Alright guys, uh, Cydia did installize and then it respring's the device. So you want to go back to Cydia, let it open up. And then do not say you're a user, do not say you're a hacker. Say you're a developer and then click done. And then you're going to agree to this and then you're also going to say um well no you're, you're not going to agree actually it just says please do not update your software to 4.3 because it will not go with you and it says there's no issue downgrading an iPod Touch Z blah 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 and then just click make my life easier thanks and that'll install a couple programs City of where we loaded data. And there you go, you're uh, officially jailbroken. Your iPod Touch or iPhone with Green Poison. This will jailbreak any 4.2.1 device. Um, if you did jailbreak, um, like I said, 4.3 is coming out March 11th. If you do upgrade, it'll del delete your jailbreak, so just watch out about that. Thank you. Have a good day. Alright, so now that you guys have jailbroken your device, you can access stuff that uh, Apple doesn't want you to have and uh, get, you know, free apps. I'll post a video on how to do that. And uh, if you guys have some extra time, visit the channel 19randy95. He taught me how to jailbreak originally, and he's going to have some videos going up shortly. So, thanks for watching. Skyrim Space 22 is out.